Do you ever ask the question, where and how am I called to serve? Here's my story, how I found my calling with Young Living. After just one year of committing to my Young Living business in 2010, I was standing with some of my Young Living friends outside of Cairo, Egypt, yep, Cairo, Egypt, on the set of Gary Young's One Gift movie. I was getting ready to ride a camel for eight hours in the middle of the desert under the sun, dressed up like an Egyptian man as part of a scene showing the story of our frankincense trail. <laughs> While gathered, Gary shared with us his core beliefs. I believe in being on the edge. I believe in being up front. I believe in exploring. I believe in pioneering. I believe in finding and I believe in discovery. Gary was so clear with his vision and mission. It totally inspired me to get clarity on my vision and path. Now it's your turn. I'm Pamela Hunter, a yoga teacher and lifestyle wellness coach of 20 plus years and a diamond leader. I have been experiencing Young Living Essential Oils since 2003, yep, 17 years, and doing this business since 2009. I have been blessed to travel with Gary and Mary Young to learn and experience our seed to seal process up close and very personal. Gary paved our path. He would motivate us with these type of words. Young Living is the leader in the world due to our discovery, development, production, research, knowledge, and teaching. First, congratulations to all of you for discovering Young Living Essential Oils for you and your family. Let's pause for a moment. Can you remember the first essential oil you were introduced to? Can you grab it off the shelf right now? Open it up and bring it into your senses. For me, it was a raven. Right away, I love these pauses. Ground your feet, feel your feet on the earth. Take the oil to your nose. Inhale it, feel it. Do you form a relationship with your essential oils? Mm. We have so many opportunities to discover more about ourselves through these experiences with our oils and products. Young Living is not just about using oils and products for wellness. It's also about using these products to discover so much more about yourself and the world all around you. It was at my yoga studio. I was teaching a kid's yoga class when I had my first introduction to this oil of Raven. A massage therapist in our studio helped me out that day. She shared her oils with me. Wow, what is this stuff? I'm going to put it on right now. I'm going to take a scent tent. Join me anytime you want with this scent tent. What path is opening up for me right now? Personally, I felt this major awakening instantly. Who can relate? The discovery of young living opened a path for sure. I spent time with my family. My two young boys were five and seven years old. We were having our typical night of bath and books in bed and looking at their needs of these two little guys. They had needs. I knew I needed to discover more about this Young Living Company. This first introduction was no accident. I was looking to develop areas of my life to serve my family and the needs of others. This was a big passion of mine, to do more, to be more, and to grow. Who's with me out there? Do you have this passion? In 2005, it was my first farm experience seeing the lavender in Mona, Utah as part of my first Young Living Convention. The beauty of the fields of the purple hues as you drove up were breath awakening. It was amazing to discover firsthand how Young Living controls every aspect of the production process. 
I literally saw lavender flowers laying on the pavement ready to be put in the cooker. And then much to my surprise, they asked a few of us to get into the huge cooker. It wasn't hot yet. It wasn't on. Our job was to stomp down the plant, to stomp that plant material down so more could be put in, kind of like grapes in the wine country. After this experience, I knew these products were real, this company was real, and the man behind the scene was definitely real. When you visit the farms, you also get to learn and participate in our seed to seal process. My entire family fell in love with our oils. Even my husband, who was a huge skeptic, first of all, having an analytical IT mind, and he's from Missouri, the show me state. He knows what he likes and is very disciplined now with his morning routine of highest potential in Shutron and his nighttime routine of Breathe Again, Rutavala, and Palo Santo. In 2008, I was sharing organically to people in need and to people who asked me. I was using them in my yoga classes, at church and children's mass, and throughout my life. The business of it was not a need for me. It was not a priority. A trip to Ecuador came up on a newsletter my husband read, and he said, you need to go to this. He said, go find out if this is a hobby or a business opportunity for you. It was two weeks away from my boys who were 11 and 13 years old, only 11 and 13, but I went. This experience was life enhancing in so many ways. I got to see the Ecuador farm in the beginnings. It was full of mud and brush needing to be cleared to make room for Gary's vision of this beautiful farm with ylang, ylang oregano, eucalyptus, and palo santo. I got to see the man behind the scenes at work and the sacrifices that Gary and Mary and the boys made to enhance our lives with nature's wisdom and energy. I got to see how Gary's heart matched my heart. Seeing where the Chungan kids went to school before we built the Young Living Academy, which is in its 12th year. We heard the vision of the foundation that is so strong, helping so many people worldwide today. Have you looked at the Young Living Foundation? It is pure passion from our one heart. So passionate. Where business was not my interest, living the message that Young Living was developing became a calling a calling to align my passion and my priorities. It was a time in my life to really look inside and know the answer to the question, who am I? The truth is my husband was providing a very comfortable lifestyle for us, yet coming from my entrepreneurial upbringing, I desired to create, help others grow alongside me. And now this beautiful opportunity was right in front of me, allowing me to give back in a way I had never thought about before. In 2009, the next year, yes, I went back to Ecuador again to learn, get more adventure, and to see the production of the farm. It was pretty amazing the difference one year made. The land was cleared and all the plants were flourishing. On this trip, we also received tons of education about wellness and how to prepare our paths. This is where I answered the question, what do I desire? Gary taught us these four questions to a healthy lifestyle. I could map out my course with direction from these questions. So get out some paper, be ready to write them down. You ready? Here they come. Number one, what is your relationship with God, a higher power? Number two, what is your attitude for life? Quote from Gary, it's better to eat a fast food hamburger with a good attitude than an organic salad with a bad one. Yes, Gary said that and it resonated with me. So I listened. Number three, what are your dreams for your life, your goals and your desires? And number four, what is your purpose that honors question number one, number two, and number three. In other words, map out your purpose. 
Do you know where you are headed, where you are going, what you desire? For me personally, this stuck out. <laughs> Gary said, talent without direction is like a snake on a skateboard. <laughs> he was so funny. He would laugh and he would wink at us and he would tell us these truths that just stuck with us. Chart your path. Write it down. What you desire and what you are doing to get there. What are your weaknesses and your strengths? Gary would say, don't be ashamed of your weaknesses. God already knows them. <laughs> oh, grow yourself. Surround yourself with good people. Grow your people. Can you guess? I came home from this trip and started the business. Not out of need, but out of pure passion and desire. I had desire to support this discovery, this development, and this research being done and to share the knowledge that was awakened inside of me. It was time to activate all of this knowingness and teach others. I had been using this product for six years. I had so much to offer. Do not wait this long to share. Catch the calling. People want to know. Please share with them. Passion took me to our Idaho Flats farm in 2011. Yep, Passion and Gary Young asking me to come. 23 of us planted 5,000 Idaho balsam fir trees, now known as Idaho Grand Fir, right? We did this to replenish the fields we harvested that winter. It was incredible to give back to our earth, replacing two trees for every one harvested. Not to mention, Time again, quality time with more young living friends from around the world, education with Gary at night, einkorn pancakes in the morning, and planting with the humor of Mother Nature's weather forecasting. <laughs> How can you not feel amazing among the creation of God's huge tall trees that give us this woodsy, refreshing aroma? Do you use Idaho Grand Fur in your diffuser? and bring these trees in your living room or your bedroom? In 2012, I visited our lavender farm in France for our Young Living 20 year anniversary there. My favorite memory here was learning the vast differences between lavender and lavender, even though they look so similar. Lavendin produces five times more oil, which makes it more profitable for farmers to grow. Yet, it has totally different properties than our precious lavender, our lavender agustifolia. We love lavender for how it treats our skin and more. Lavendin is in our purification blend for its special properties. We do use lavender for its qualities when needed, yet we have pure lavender where other companies may disguise lavender for lavender. These are not to be used in exchange for each other. Do you follow that? Another favorite story from our trip in France. Gary wanted us to see the difference between farming and what if we didn't have our farms. So he took us to the hillside and said we were wild crafting. So he gave us all little baskets, took us to this hillside and said, okay, time to wild craft. Walk back and forth and back and forth, cross the hillside all the way scaling this hillside, looking for wild lavender. It was a great experience, but it was a lot to find lavender. We finished after hours and hours and we all had small bundles of lavender. Just to think how much time it would take for us to wildcraft all of our lavender. I became so grateful for our farming knowledge, for our farm managers, and for our seed to seal process, for sure. Later in 2012, I was back in Ecuador, this time for a gold platinum trip. Yep. I had experienced growth in myself and my business, and this trip was as amazing as ever. We actually picked and distilled the luxurious aromatic Ylang Ylang. Do you love Ylang Ylang too? 
Did you know it's the oil in the blend, Peace and Calming? Picking these vibrant flowers of yellow were amazing. So how did you know when to pick? You had these funky little trees. They're really cool little trees. And you open up the flower. So it's got all loose little petals. And you open it up. And on the inside, you see if there's a red circle. If the red circle is there, it's ready to be picked. And oh, it smells so mesmerizing. You can check out tons of pictures of this experience and more in the DeGary Young book. Make sure you check that out. It's really fun. Also on this trip, we went to the Palo Santo forest to plant new trees. Laughter and love all around us as we were planting together, having so much quality time. Do you have Palo Santo? Let me see, where is it? Palo Santo. If you have it, take it out and smell this holy wood. Oh, it's holy wood. It's taken only from the dead bark that's been laying on the earth for a long, long time. In fact, there's one tree that looks like it's dead. It's a laying on its side. You can see its roots. But guess what? In 2009, that tree was there. And when I was there in February of 2020, that same tree is laying there connected by one root that is keeping that tree alive. And we will not take that tree. Only the dead bark that creates this holy wood. Truly one of my favorites as it takes me right into this experience and this memory. We finished the work and gathered in a circle all around the trees we planted. We honored the planting just like indigenous people had been doing for thousands of years by blessing the plants that bless us. I was humbled, honored when Gary asked me to begin the blessing. This is when I truly heard the question. I asked myself daily, where and how am I called to serve? Everyone in the circle participated and added their blessings. Do you ever ask yourself this question? Where and how am I called to serve today? It's on our farms where I feel connected to who we truly are. We are the world leader in essential oils. I made a priority to visit all of our farms. And when I finished all, visiting all five, guess what? Gary bought more. <laughs> we have farms, lots of farms and partner farms that each and every one of you can visit. You can put your feet in the soil. You can plant. You can see the distillation. You can pull weeds and you can meditate in the fields if you desire. You can see the seed to seal process in the labs at each one of our farms that lets us know our purity, strength, and quality. You can be educated by our farm managers just like Gary educated us. Yes, I have these amazing memories that bring me into now, present time. Now I awaken awareness and I open paths for all I meet, sharing Young Living Essential Oils. It is our time to discover our one heart. We develop our valor, our confidence. We produce our motivation. Are you motivated? Are you looking within for this motivation? Do you research and look into your highest potential? How about magnify your purpose and your knowledge? so that we can go out and teach in harmony and abundance. And guess what? Gary's light is always here to guide us. I hope to see each and every one of you on the farms. Thank you for letting me share today. It's an honor.